Hi everybody, so it's Danielle. Hi! I am here today with, um, I guess, a haul. It's a collective haul, so stuff I've kind of picked over, picked up over the last couple of days, or not days, like weeks. Um, so I'm going to show you what I got and show, I've tried most of them out already, so I'm going to let you know my thoughts on them. So let's get started. So I got I picked up Revlon's Photo Ready Perfecting Primer in 001, and I really like this stuff. Um, it comes out really smoothly. It has a pump out of the sun. It has a pump, and you squeeze it out, and here it is. What I love about this stuff is it has light reflecting particles in it, but not only that, it minimizes the appearance of your pores and everything is smooth so when you apply your foundation on top of it it's it's just melts into your face and it's perfect I love it so I would highly recommend going out and getting this I can't remember how much I paid for it I think it was um it's kind of pricey 10 bucks maybe at Walmart I'll let you know down the bottom bar how much I paid for it next up I went and I bought um, Revlon's Photo Ready Airbrush Mousse Makeup. Now, if you have a lot of, if you're subscribed to a lot of channels, you know about this makeup already. It's kind of taking YouTube by storm. So my shade is 110 Vanilla, since I'm really light. Uh, gosh, the sun. So you squeeze it out like that. Like so. Look at it, and then when you touch it, it melts into your hand or your face. I like it. Um, at first, for some reason, I had the hardest time blending it. Um, it was really sticky at first, and I don't know why. And then after a couple times, it just really melted into my face too, and it's really smooth, and I really like it. Um, if you already have Revlon's Photo Ready Makeup, like the regular pump kind, the regular foundation, you really don't need the other one. It's, I think, kind of more of a gimmick, kind of how the product comes out. It's the same thing. It's just um, air mousse instead. But I really like it, so I bought it. I'm going to use it. Would I buy it again? I don't know. We'll see. Um, next up from the drugstore, I went and I bought Super Lustrous Lipstick from Revlon in the color 002 Pink Pout, and it's a matte lipstick. Love it. There you go. Um, let me swatch it for you. Sad, sad story is when I went out one night with my girlfriends, I took my Lady Gaga Viva Glam lipstick from MAC along with me and it fell out of my purse and I never went back to Mac to get it so can you guys see that's the swatch it's very similar to the Lady Gaga lipstick that's kinda why I bought it um, very smooth very creamy um, staying power it's just kinda like an ordinary lipstick um, it's not really supposed to be long lasting, they don't advertise that, but Revlon makes really, really good lipsticks and I love them, so I would suggest getting that. Um, again, I will have all the prices down in the bottom bar, I'm not sure how much I paid for it. Um, so then I bought another Revlon lipstick, this one is Revlon Color Burst Lipstick in 020 Baby Pink. Um, here it is, I love, I love pink pink lips. I think they're really pretty. This one has more shimmer to it than the other one. More, more of a satin finish. Focus. Yeah, it is so light you can barely see it. But that's it there. And um, I like it. It's not my favorite lipstick, but it's, it's a very pretty color. Very smooth. Um, so I recommend Revlon lipsticks, very good. The next thing I bought, actually, I bought in a kit. I don't have the mascara with me right now. It's the L'Oreal Voluminous Lashes Mascara. This came, I went to Walgreens, and I got this with it in, like, a package. And this is 
L'Oreal's Paris Voluminous Smoldering Eyeliner and it's in black. It's supposed to be a Kajal, 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 Kajal inspired um, eyeliner and it to me it's just not creamy enough. I'm spoiled with my creamy eyeliners I guess. I don't know. Um, here I'll draw it on. You see, I mean, it's it's okay. It's not the blackest black, but it's pretty. I wouldn't buy it again. It just it's not my favorite. Um, and along the lines of eyeliner, I went and picked up another um, Milani Liquify eyeliner, metallic eyeliner, and I adore this stuff. I almost adore it more. I said almost. I almost adore it more than Urban Decay um, Perversion, their new one. This is on the bottom. It's so much more creamy than the other one. For some reason on camera it's showing up a lot le a lot more gray than the other one. But this is it. It's really creamy. Really, really smooth. It stays on for freaking ever. Um, I put it on the waterline and it stays. Once it's set, it stays. And I love it. And I would recommend going out and getting it. This is my second one already and I love it. Alright, so next up I went and bought Maybelline's Dream Bouncy Blush. Everybody on YouTube is getting excited about it. I was excited to try it and then when I tried it, I didn't like it. Um, some people really like light um, blushes. Here it is. I personally... Can you can't even tell right on me like I'm pink. This stuff feels so cool. Like it, it's bouncy. It's kind of a moussey light material. But you can barely see the color, and I really don't like that. Um, especially if you're using your fingers. It doesn't come off your fingers. Um, so I really don't appreciate it. Um, I wouldn't buy it again. I don't really like it. That's all I gotta say about it. I don't like it. Sorry. Sorry, look at people that do. I just don't. Um, next at Walgreens, I went and bought Wet n Wild Color Recon Bronzer. The lightest shade that they had. It just doesn't really have a label. Um, I love it because it's not shimmery, so I can use it as a contour powder. Um, can you see it? Right there. It's very pretty. Um, the smallest hint of shimmer, not a lot, but it's it's great. And it's so big, and you get so much product for how much you pay. I think I paid, what, like five bucks for it? Not even. Probably like three, because it's Wet n Wild. And the quality of Wet n Wild lately has been going up and up, which I really love and appreciate. So thank you. Um, so the next thing I got that I adore is Maybelline's Illegal Length Mascara. It's Fiber Extensions Mascara. I don't know if you'll be able to see the brush. The brush is really cool. Um, and there's teeny tiny little fibers that go onto your real lashes and lift up and lengthen your lashes. And it really does work pretty well. I actually prefer this to the Falsies Mascara by Maybelline. Um, so I really appreciate this. I will be buying it again and I love it. I went to Sephora because I had a gift card. Yay! Yay for Christmas. And I went to Urban, Urban Decay is one of my favoritest, if not, yeah, probably my f most favorite brand. Um, for someone like me who loves bright colors, that's what they have, a lot of bright colors, but now they've come out with Naked, and I love Naked too. It's just the quality of the, um, the eyeshadows are so great. So let me show you. I bought the uh, I bought the 24/7 shadow pencils, glide on shadow pencils, and it came in a set. I believe it was only like $32 at Sephora. I can't remember the exact price, but you get five of these colors. And let me tell you something. I love these, and they don't budge. They don't budge. Once they dry, you can try to rub it off. It won't come off. Um, water, no, you need to use a makeup remover. So there on top are the swatches. So you got a beautiful blue. Like It's so bright. You got um, three natural colors, three different browns, 
and then a purple and the purple has um, pink glitter in it so it's fantastic so pretty and I love it and I want to go back and actually buy all the rest of the pencils at Sephora and I'll probably end up going and then lastly at the checkout counter because they suck you in with all those cute little miniature samples and stuff it's only $15 ah. so this was only $15 this is can you see it this is Too Faced um, pink leopard bronzing powder and look how adorable this is look how cute you get a little mirror and you get the powder and it comes looking like leopard print so I just love it and on the mirror it says you look absolutely perfect like a cat so it's cute and the powder the quality is really pretty too do you see that I use it more as a bronzing and sh like highlighting ish powder because it's the, the pink doesn't really pay off that well but I love it and I would go buy it again I think that's it so those are all the products that I've gotten over the last couple weeks that I wanted to show you I'm sure all of you know about them or if you don't go out and get some um, stay tuned for my next video it's coming up real soon thank you so much lovelies for subscribing up at the top you've already done it right I know you have. So thank you so much, and I'll talk to you soon. 